Hello everyone, welcome to Texas Sports TV, where we talk about Texas sports, especially around the Houston area, and I got some major news, especially if you're a fan of hockey, and you want hockey to come to the Houston area, the greatest city, the largest untapped market for hockey. We got, the uh, fundraising is coming together, going a lot quicker, uh, the company's coming together. There's a lot going on, a lot of new information, okay? We got a new article about it. That's the first thing to come up. Uh, no, not the first thing. It was the fundraiser. Afterwards, well, we got an article about it, which, you know, yours truly is in it. But it's talks about the NHL to Houston crowdfunding. It's, it's a way where we can crowdfund for an NHL franchise to come to Houston. It, it's We could literally be what the Green Bay Packers are, okay? It, it's the, we're, they are owned by the city. We are going to own the team. The city of Houston is going to own that team. It's going to be very successful too because based on how the Green Bay has done in the past, they're a very successful franchise. They have Super Bowls, they have championships, and they are usually a winning team year after year after year, especially since, you know, they kind of have to be for the investors. Now, uh, otherwise, it's crowdfunding for charity. While well, the NHL team was also investing in youth uh, hockey teams as well as uh, other, as uh, or we can do it the way where Packers do it. City owning the team along with someone like uh, Tillman and JJ Watt, or any potential investor for to own another part of the team. And then here's my part in the article. It says, also, a YouTuber Texas Sports TV shares the ideas of Houston doing the Green Bay Packers approach. Now we have, again, very, this is happening for real. We have a GoFundMe page for it. So if you want uh, to invest in getting a team to here, if you want the chance to own a part of an NHL franchise, just invest any amount. The goal is to get $650 million. It's making it a success. Uh, share, share it around, get other people to do it. it it's going to happen. Just go fund me. You put a little bit of money in, it's going to, again, legal fees, get, it's going to get the groundwork going. Let's go over to the, because it was uh, created by at crazy text for the Twitter handle, and it's someone who wants an NF NHL team in Houston. It's part of this group I'm in. Their little GoFundMe page, their goal is six hundred fifty million. I think it's possible. It's clearly possible. Uh, he's wanted. First off, I've wanted an NHL team in Houston for years. We, uh, we all kind of have. We're with them in this. We've tried two times before in 1979 and 1997, but were rejected. Spread the word throughout social media. Hashtag NHL Houston. Hashtag Team Houston. Why? And here's why it's good for Houston. This is what he lists. One, job opportunities, and that is true. It will create more jobs. Two, family fun entertainment, which is true. Houston is the best market in the country for the National Hockey League to add or relocate a team, according to a new study, and that is 100% true. It's the largest untapped market. There's a lot of hockey fans here, and if you don't think we can handle it, then don't look at Dallas, a smaller city here in Texas that's very successful uh, making money off of it. Plus, they have just the same amount of sports leagues and teams over there. So, you know what? Why can't a larger market do it? It can and we're very loyal. Uh, and we, number four, we love the arrows. And yes, we do. We do love the arrows. We've shown that we are a major league city and support our teams during good and bad times. The NFL, the NBA, the MLB, the MLS, the NWSL. And you know what? There's even more. There's the MLR with Major League Rugby. Again, also what Dallas has and what Austin has as well. And there's also, so there's even more. There's more. Houston is a major league team where a team can come here and be very, uh, very successful. Oh, and there's also 
Again, the XFL. Guess what? The XFL was very successful. You don't think we can support another team? Well, we just supported another team, and it was very successful. You don't know the only reason why the XFL didn't succeed? It wasn't because of attendance numbers in Texas. I can tell you that. It's the fourth largest city in the United States. About to be third. Not very long. Just, just wait. Uh, if the NHL will put teams in Columbus and Phoenix, there's no excuse for not putting a team in Houston, and that is correct. Uh, we already have an arena that could house an a NHL team, so no need to build a new one, and all tax dollars are used. And that is also correct. We got Toyota, the Toyota Center, which was specifically designed to house an NBA team and an NHL team. It was supposed to attract an NHL team, which it hasn't happened yet, but you know what? It's going to happen at any moment now. Also, uh, there's the Aero Stadium, but I don't think they're using that anymore. I think that's a nice ring. Uh, we, anytime a team currently in the NHL was on the verge of relocating, Houston was mentioned as a possibility, and that is also correct. Let's change the possibility into reality. Our neighbors up north in Dallas agree with the idea of NHL to Houston. The great uh, Gordy Howie donned an Aero jersey during his playing career and helped put Houston on the map. Like Earl Campbell. Craig Biggio, Jeff Bagwell, Jose Altuve, and J.J. Watt. Houston is one of the most international cities in the U.S. And it's true. It's a, it's a major city that a lot of people travel to. A lot of people visit. A lot of people tours to. And you can buy one of our shirts as well. Lots of... We want hockey. There's, a lot, there's quite a few different shirts. But... You can follow them on Twitter. Again, I'll put links down in the description. There's Crazy Text, uh, at Crazy Text 00, at Hockey Number 2 Houston, at NHL Houston, at Dan R5, Dan RS87. Okay, you can donate. I'm going to donate. Uh, this is going to be huge. This is going to be big. I'll be donating. Not going to say, but yeah, I'll be donating a little bit uh, over time. Uh, based on what I have, and this is this is big. Six hundred fifty mil. Let's do this. And then there's uh, they're starting it. How to start a nonprofit? They're discussing the nonprofit, uh, trying to get it off the ground. Uh, they're talk they're here. They are talking about the checklist for nonprofits. And then talking about spreading the word, talking about our talking, uh, getting in contact with the local news medias. Well, you know what? I I'll do it. I I'm one of the people who, you know, goes on YouTube, talks about sports. I'll do it. And then they're talking about they need to have a serious organizational leader. And they had the Green Bay Packer model, which I've already explained. And then there's... Uh, Expressed interest in helping our efforts on Instagram, which is chrisdampassador86 at gmail.com. So just this whole idea alone, they've already, again, just the idea alone has already got people to step up. Uh, there's going, people are going to get more organized. Can't wait for the finished products. Uh, this is getting off the ground. People are, are seriously doing this. We're 100% going to bring a team to Houston. We're not going to just wait for some of this time. We're going to do it ourselves. We're going to attract the investors ourselves. We're going to attract the team ourselves. We're going to show the world that Houston is the place where a hockey team is supposed to be. Can't wait for it to happen. Can't wait for y'all to join us in this historical moment. Because right now, the only team in North America that's owned by the city, owned by the citizens is the Green Bay Packers. They're, they're not, they don't have a single ownership. And we're going to be the first hockey team in North America, the first team in Texas to do it. It's going to be the first, it's going to be a very historical moment. It's going to be amazing, and it's going to be very, very successful, especially when you compare it to the Green Bay Packers. Uh, Don Hudson said, the Packers are the only community-owned franchise in North America's four traditional major leagues. They, they are uh, owned by a bunch of shareholders and stockholders. 
and there's there we go. There's the GoFundMe, the company, uh, Houston Hockey Incorporated. It's it's uh, the nonprofit organization. They're getting off the ground. They're grab. They're gathering their legal team. It's gonna be a real thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna. I don't know who the organizational leader is gonna be yet. I'm hoping I could be the spokesperson. That'd be that'd be a nice job. Uh, but it's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. Some really great news in Houston right now, especially for a hockey fan. Go Arrows. Bring a hockey team to Houston. Let's go. Let's go hockey.